I got native HDR working on Starfield and it looks absolutely amazing. I tweak the tone mapping, the black level, the colors, everything to make sure it looks as good as I can make it look. And let me tell you, man, the results are spectacular, okay? Take a look at this. We're looking at nothing. This is just the beginning of the game. Just take a look at this image right here. It looks correct to my eyes. It just looks right to me. We're, when, when you look at nothing, we're just looking at something like this and it looks good, wow. <laughs> you know you have something special. Look at these highlights. They are popping, these small reflections here. This red, the colors are very saturated. It is just absolutely amazing. Let me show you inside the cave. So you see that there is no ugliness. You see, this is the beginning of the game. You just start here. There is no ugliness. I'm having issues with my keyboard. Okay, this is like a wireless keyboard. I just need to get new batteries. So this is just the beginning of the game. So you see here, you start here. Everything is visible, but nothing is washed out. We have perfect blacks. You see here this, it looks good, it is visible. Let me take a look at the camera. Of course, on the camera it doesn't look the same as in front of me, but it looks okay on the camera. Everything is visible, nothing is crushed. Let me show you the beginning, this cave that we have. So you see how good it looks on the darkness, which is very, very, very important. Take a look at this. It is just, everything looks correct to me. Everything looks right and it looks beautiful. It's popping. And I will show you the city, the main city, so you see how that looks. And then I'm gonna explain you step by step how to get this working. Very important here. Take a look at this cave right here. You see the recording? Mm -hmm. You see that it is visible, okay? It is visible, we have perfect blacks over here, okay? absolutely amazing this is the darkness but it is visible no problem to see here on the darkness and on the other hand we have perfect blacks that's exactly what you need okay you need to see on the darkness but you don't you want to still have perfect blacks so you have that infinite contrast that we can get on the OLED. So now let's take a look at the CD I haven't been playing the game it's <laughs> just testing 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 so I'm just gonna show you this CD here how it looks and I'm I'm impressed I'm impressed with the results let's take a look at this this is very 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 good looking very good really really liking it so I'm gonna sh I'm going to load the daytime so you see the daytime how it looks but during the night there's no no crushing you can see everything let's take a look at the HDR analysis tool you can see we have perfect blacks no issues there. Again, I'm having issues with my keyboard. You see the colors, no issues here. It looks very good. Like the visibility is good, no problem. And I will show you the colors during the daytime so you see that it looks good. See these reflections, they are popping. This is bright, it is popping. Let me show you the daytime. Let me load a more earlier part. And then I'm gonna show you the reshade settings and how to get this working, the mods that you need to download to get this working. Well, this is not like the bright daytime yet. Still, the sun still has to come out. But you can see here that it looks it looks good. There's dust, nothing washed out. I would like to show you the the daytime when the sun is out. Maybe just it's just gonna happen when I show you the settings and stuff. The daytime is going to come and you will see this better. So let me show you the settings I am using on reshape. Well, before I do that, let me show you how to download the mod because then the settings don't make sense. So what you have to do is come here, link in the description of the video, and download this mod. It's called Native HDR from Nexus Mod. 
So when you go to download this mod, or you come here to files and you hit download, you will see that additional files are required. And then you have to also download this mod that is called a Starfield Script Extender. Okay? So download this mod too. And when you download those two, here's what you're going to get. You're going to get these two files, this native HDR file and this SFSE file, okay? So you have to extract those two zips. And you're going to get these two folders, this folder that is called data. You're going to copy this folder here. Let me show you. We are not using the SDR HDR slider. We're going to copy that folder right here. On your Starfield installation folder where it says data. Okay, so you're just going to copy that folder basically on your Starfield installation folder and it's going to copy this SFSE. Okay, you'll see here. It's going to copy this native HDR, these two native HDR files. Now, next, what you have to do is open this native HDR file and change this sRGB from true. You have to change that to false. And by doing this, you're going to get HDR10, okay, instead of sCRGB. That's one thing you have to do. By default, this is true. You have to change it to false. Now, the other thing you have to do is copy this SFSE file, you have to copy this, all of this, you have to copy that again on the installation folder, okay? And when you copy that on the installation folder, you have to run this executable called SFSE loader, okay? So when you run that executable, the game is going to launch from this executable instead of the normal executable for the game. Make sure that you have a Steam open. So when you open, when you click on this executable, the game is going to launch if you have a Steam open, okay? Also, just in case, copy this uh, data folder again, copy this data folder in Documents, My Games, Starfield, Data. Okay, copy that data folder also here. So you have this SFSE folder here too. Okay, it might not be necessary, uh, but I have it in both places. So that's how I got it to work. So now when you do that, the game is still messed up. Okay, so the game is going to open on native HDR, but the picture is going to look very, very, very bad. Okay, uh, horrendously bad because it's going to be 10,000 nits. The colors are going to be extremely overly saturated and the picture is going to look very dark near black so to fix all of that you have to install reshade and you have to get this Lilium shaders link in the description of the video to a guide where I show you how to <coughs> download reshade and how to install this Lilium <coughs> HDR shaders okay so now what you have to do is you have to utilize these three shaders from Lilium. This Lilium's SDR TRC fix. We're going to use this shader. We're going to also use Lilium's HDR black floor fix shader. And we're going to use Lilium's tone mapping shader. Okay, and of course, I'm using the HDR analysis tool to see what's going on here. And I'm going to explain you what I did. So, First step with this Lilium's SDR TRC fix. I recommend you to have this shader on top of all the shaders. So this would be the first shader. The order matters, okay? The order in which you have these shaders definitely matters. So I would recommend you to have this one. It would be the first and the settings we are going to use for this shader are very simple. All you have to do is come here and make sure that the input TRC is sRGB and the target TRC is power gamma. 
okay? And then change the target power gamma to three, okay? Target power gamma to three. Now this input power gamma, I change it and it doesn't make any difference, okay? Now why, I don't know. It just looks the best. I just don't really know what is this designed for. I have no idea. This is how I got the near black and the gamma, the visibility looking correct to my eyes and looking the best. But I don't know why this is working. It's just working. So this is my recommendation. So now the second thing that we're going to use is this Lilium's HDR Black Floor Fix Shader. And all we're going to do on this shader is very simple. It's a single click here on this shader. We're going to come here where it says under Lilium HDR Black Floor Fix Shader, where it says enable SDR Black Floor Emulation. We're just going to click on that box. Done. Nothing else. Just click on that box, enable SDR Black Floor Emulation. So what this is going to do, this is going to ensure that we have perfect blacks and it's going to fix that near black uh, mapping that tone mapping near black it's gonna make sure that it looks the best near black so we don't have any ugliness near black a must here for this now next we are going to do tone mapping because when you open this mod you have 10,000 nits and the colors are overly saturated and it looks very very bad so what we're going to use is use the Lilium Stone Mapping Shader. And here's what we're going to do with this Lilium Stone Mapping Shader. We are going to, by default, it is it is detecting HDR10. But just in case, you can type in here CSP underscore HDR10. Okay? And then here's what we're going to do. We're going to select maximum tone mapping brightness, 10,000 nits. And then the target brightness, the target of your display. So now in my case, I have an LG C1 OLED. I want to use HGIG, which means no tone mapping on the display. So the target for me is 800, okay? I want to get 800 nits, but if you have a G2 or a G3, you change this target brightness. This is the output. This is how high the game is going to go with the peak brightness. And you can see it here on this line, it's just almost there on the 10,000. You can see here, Max CLL 700 is up to 800 nits, okay? And then we're going to select the tone mapping method. In this case, the best method to resolve this 10,000 nits looking overly saturated, the best tone mapping method based on my testing here is this BT2446 method A. This is the best tone mapping. So select this BT2446 method A tone mapping, a static tone mapping, and then we're going to tweak the settings of this tone mapping method to correct the colors, okay? Because the colors are overly saturated. So now, what you have to change is this gamut compression. So you go under BT2446 method A, you go under here, and where it says gamut compression, you're gonna change this number to 1.79, okay? So how can you change this number? You press, you press control, you step on it, you press control, and then you click on it. So you can type in the number. So type in 1.790, okay? That's the value. So now how did I figure out this number? What I did is I am looking at this let me show you. I'm looking at this diagram here. So you, you have the option now with this new Lilium shaders. Let me show you. Show color spaces use. Show CIE diagram, okay? So I have this box ticked, so I can see this, you see? And with this show CIE diagram, there's an option to select. Show BT709 color space show DCI-P3 color space outline. So those are these triangles here that I'm looking at. Show BD2020 color space outline, okay? So I'm looking at these triangles here and then I am adjusting this tone mapping number. So I'm here under BD2446 method A. I am changing this number, this gamut compression number. 
And what I did was to make sure that this diagonal line here was inside the Rec 709 and it was parallel to this line here. And the reason is the colors are going beyond Rec 709 anyway. I just wanted to make sure I was not overly saturating the colors and the colors are overly saturated. Okay, it looks amazing. I'm sure you're, you're going to enjoy that. So that's why, that's how I changed this number. And the reason why I selected this BT2446 BT method A tone mapping is because this tone mapping tone maps down everything and it fixes the 10,000 nits the best way. So that's it. Those are all the settings. Let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions. Again, this is looking absolutely amazing. I actually wanted to record this video on HDR from the source so you see the video on HDR but that was gonna take too long and I want you to know this right now if you're playing the game and you want to play it on HDR but otherwise we have to wait like a week for YouTube <laughs> to release the video on HDR and just that's just not good this looks very 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 good no crushing near black very colorful very very nice um, give it a try and let me know how you like it also these settings are also working on top of what i did on the previous video okay so link in the description you have to do that mod first because that mod is going to fix the race blacks and it's going to fix the color grading of the game which is completely messed up so you have to do that first then come and do this okay I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but if you care, I hope you stay until the end. So now the TV settings to end the video, I am just using HGIG, that's it, <laughs> I'm using HGIG on my LG C1, so the black level is at default, so no screen brightness, no fine tuned dark areas, because we have, you see here on the graph, we have perfect blacks, so no problem, right? we don't have to use any, any black level setting to lower uh, the black level is already perfect so yeah that's it now if you ask me which settings would i use this or the sdr sdr trick for all emotion pro probably the sdr sdr trick for all emotion pro unless i keep working on this and i get it brighter for all emotion pro but to get this result it was already a lot of work it was very very tough so it's gonna take a lot even more work to get it looking bright enough for black frame insertion on this LG C1. And the thing is, I, I'm not sure I wanna play the game. So yeah, um, so yeah, but this is the best looking picture for sure. No question about that. This looks the best. Um, it looks the best. Very, very bright, very bright. I mean, I'm sure that's clipping on the recording. This is very, 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 very bright. So it is gonna be very bright during the day, deep blacks during the night, perfect contrast, very colorful. We are not crushing details that we should be able to see based on what I've tested so far. And yeah, it's the best picture quality. But the SDR SDR trick with the settings I shared with you before are brighter for all Motion Pro, brighter. Uh, especially uh, near black so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions